So what did you think about the show today, Mr. President? I like it very much. Yes, did you know something about uh, kayak freestyle before? Uh, I've, I've read something about it, but I'd never seen it, so that's the first time I see it. You definitely have to make sure that you're landing your moves in the right spot and you're paying attention because as you saw, it's very easy to flush. Uh, the wave's amazing, the spot's amazing. Uh, we've got a perfect arena for the sport here in Tune and I'm loving being here. It's a great event, it's one of the biggest uh, freestyle events ever been so far. really little I was too small to kayak and the extra height advantage in a C1 I, I was a bit better so I, I've just loved it ever since and it's more difficult so more challenging. Kanufahrer, das sind ja eigentlich die wirklichen Männer im Sport, weil äh, die anderen, die haben kein Wasser im Boot und bei uns sind mindestens 40 Liter Wasser im Boot, äh, wenn man mal ein bisschen was reinkriegt und da muss man schon ein bisschen hinlangen, dass sich das Boot dann auch noch bewegt und es ist nicht so einfach auf der Welle zu bleiben dann mit dem vollen Boot. Die Wale, das ist eigentlich noch speziell, das ist so ein Mysterium, so ein bisschen. Also wir haben hier auf dieser Schleuse haben wir 10 Tore, die wir einzeln hier steuern. Ich tue noch auf Bahn telefonieren und dann tun die, die über das Computersystem eigentlich die einzelnen Tore ansteuern. Das tun wir teilweise um 3-4 cm stellen, 5-10 cm. Und das ist ein ganz komplexes Zusammenspiel zwischen Seespiegel, Unterwasserspiegel, also es ist ab und zu sehr schwierig, um dort wirklich eine Wellen anzubekommen. Ich 
aufgrund des Durchfluss und dem Wasser, das bei den Toren durchgeht, wird nach dem Grund bestimmt, wie nachher die Wellen aussieht. Wie hoch, wie niedrig, wie viel weißes Wasser oder halt wie grün das sie ist. It's not the biggest wave and that's what makes it challenging. You know, you really have to work at getting big moves and uh, the people that can get the big moves on this wave definitely deserve to be here. So my movie is titled Stakeout and it's all about our Quebec tour every spring. Uh, the rivers in Quebec and Canada are really huge. And it's got amazing huge river waves and we surf them and it's just documenting all the big air freestyle that we do there. Big progression in the sport is on surfing, you know, massive river waves where there's more risks involved, it's a lot more dangerous, and uh, stakeout sort of showcases that element of the sport. Yeah, finding new places, new features, and uh, so we're constantly, constantly trying to find new stuff on Google Earth or just traveling around, and it's, it's pretty, pretty exciting. I made it exactly how I would want to watch a movie, so I'm very happy with it. <laughs> the film will be uh, available for free online at stakeoutmovie.com, and uh, yeah, so everyone will be able to see it free of charge. everything together because we, we go to each event and uh, paddle together every single day. Um, it feels, it's wonderful, it really keeps our family together and uh, we, we, just, we just love kayaking. Well yeah, <laughs> yeah we go paddle every day, it's a good, pretty much what the Jackson family does. We travel around, we live in a motor home six months a year and just travel around from event to event and we homeschool the kids, uh, so we, we do quite a bit of paddling. Yeah. I forgot about how to run the company. No, the, uh, well, the company, as far as that goes, we've got a, a great team of people that are back at the factory. Um, my job is to go kayak and show people the boats and sell kayaks. And uh, I've got a great team of people, their job to make sure the kayaks get built properly and we get them designed right and everything, that type of thing. So we've got a, a great team, just like, just like our paddling team, our factory team's top notch too.
slow. I'm going to go a little bit bigger tomorrow. I'm trying to get 1,300 points.
open boat, you have to kind of go with the moves as they happen and how much water you have in the boat. In the other disciplines, you can kind of plan out your ride a lot more. But in open boat, it's best to hit the biggest moves first. So I went for the air blunt first when there was no water in the boat. And then after that, just kind of go with the flow and see how much water I have in the boat, hit the easier moves as the boat fills up. Two years ago, I won the bronze medal. And I've just been working since then, redesigning my boat and training a lot to, to come here and win. And I'm really glad it worked out. Pretty incredible. I don't think it's quite sunk in, but it's a cool feeling. Hey, uh, it was awesome. That's my friend right there, Dane Jackson. I think he's in second, and uh, just a great fun. It was fun to just paddle with my friends, and this is what it's all about. Everybody. Good. Um, my best friend Jaden Craig just got took first place, and I'm pretty happy. He deserved it. Uh, he was paddling super well, and um, I'm fired up for how well I did as well. So I'm pretty happy. semis, prelims, quarters, everything. And uh, finals was just really my make or break. You know, either I had to go big or go home. <laughs> Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing just for me personally, but truthfully to, to lose to Emily, who's a fantastic paddler and had an awesome ride out there, I couldn't be happier. My second run was definitely my best run. Uh, normally my second run is always my first one, you know, kept me in first, but uh, my second one was just to show all the people, you know, what girls can do now.
awesome. Nick came out of the gates, obviously, with the, the biggest ride of the competition on his first ride, so was, there was no, like, oh, well, you could probably win by pacing yourself, so you had to go for a good ride, like your full-on ride all the way, which is way more fun to compete that way. You're not defending something. You're really charging for something. So I had a lot of fun. I never got my whole routine or anything, but uh, uh, obviously got enough points to get in a second, so super happy. So I kind of woke up this morning, and uh, I just felt like today was going to be a good day. And I've got my wife and my mom over there, and a whole bunch of people cheering for me, and all my good friends in the eddy rooting me on. Um, and I just dropped into the wave, and everything just was clicking and working. So I figure it's a fair trade. Oh yeah, he, it's a two-year two-year deal. He gets to keep it for two years and feel real good. And then, uh, I mean, he could get second next time. That's cool. It's a lot. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah.